Hello, my name is Simon Mills. I'm a lecturer in early modern history at Newcastle University, and I'm uh, very pleased and very honoured that my uh, book, uh, Commerce of Knowledge, Trade, Religion and Scholarship between England and the Ottoman Empire circa uh, 1600 to 1760, uh, has been shortlisted for the Society of Renaissance Studies uh, Biennial Book Prize. Uh, I'll just say a few words uh, quickly about uh, what the book's about and uh, what I was trying to do uh, in writing it. Uh, so the book uh, tells the story of three generations of Church of England chaplains who served the uh, English Levant Company in Aleppo in what was then Ottoman Syria during the 17th and uh, 18th centuries. And the commerce of knowledge refers to the uh, tasks which these men uh, performed on behalf of English uh, intellectual and religious initiatives, which I divide into three. Firstly, uh, the study of what were called at the time the Oriental languages, uh, secondly, the collection of and analysis of uh, antiquities. And thirdly, the early history of uh, missions of the Church of England in the Ottoman Empire and the attempt uh, to print and to distribute uh, the Bible uh, and various Protestant literature in uh, Arabic translation. Uh, and there are three reasons really why I chose to uh, tell this story through the eyes uh, of the chaplains. Uh, firstly, because I wanted to try to write a book which got beneath the surface, so to speak, of the history of scholarship. So there's as much uh, in the book about shipwrecks and excursions across the desert as there is about the history of biblical scholarship and debates on uh, antiquarianism in the early modern period. One or two of the chaplains uh, became quite well known, but the majority of them were rather marginal uh, figures. Uh, there are many different characters in the book, but in my mind, the hero was always a man called Robert Huntington who interested me because he published very little and his main achievement was that he was able to acquire a quite magnificent library of oriental manuscripts and I set myself the task of trying to explain how he achieved this, uh, drawing largely on his correspondence. But secondly, I was very inspired in writing the book by uh, historians who'd written about the history of confessionalization, uh, that is competition between uh, the different churches in uh, early modern Europe, and I wanted to show that this same dynamic was at work on the ground in Syria. So many of my uh, collectors uh, found themselves in competition uh, with Venetian, uh, French or, or Dutch merchants. Another very important part of the book is the, the way that the Catholic uh, missions had established themselves uh, in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, and many of my chaplains uh, were also very often uh, in competition, but sometimes in quite interesting ways in uh, collaboration uh, with the uh, Catholic missionaries whom they met uh, in Syria. Finally, writing about uh, what the history of scholarship looked like in Aleppo enabled me to give a proper role in the book to the various Ottoman uh, interlocutors with whom my chaplains uh, came into contact. So uh, plenty of space in the book is given over to a Sufi scribe who helped one of the early chaplains with collecting manuscripts, uh, the Samaritans uh, who performed uh, the same role uh, later in the 17th century, and an early uh, um, Arabic speaking uh, patriarch of the Greek Orthodox Church who was closely involved with the uh, Church of England's early attempt to distribute Arabic Bibles uh, in Syria. So that hopefully gives uh, some idea of what I mean by the, the commerce of knowledge and uh, I would like to thank uh, the panel very much for uh, reading the book and also for uh, putting it on the, the shortlist.